Hello everyone, welcome to my attempt of beating Arkham Knight story mode without grappling. For the rules of this category, I'll be using strats of speedrunning community, which means I'll be using glitches or um, skips, but that doesn't mean I will be using hacks or any kind of cheats. Also, I will not count any grapples that the game forces me to do. For example, even if I don't press the grapple button, Batman will automatically grapple on a cutscene, for example. And last, when you fall into the water, sometimes Batman grapples automatically, but I'll also consider that the game forcing me to grapple, so I'll not count it. So anyway, let's begin. So for the beginning, you can just glide straight to Garden. Batman Arkham Knight has a way better mechanic of gliding compared to the other games. In this game, you can actually gain a lot of height, which will be very helpful for some strats we'll use in the run. So after interrogating this guy, we're gonna do some parkour, and Line Launcher will be our savior. Many times in the run, we're gonna use Line Launcher to climb some things, and then climb others, until we get a lot of height, and we reach our objective. Right now, we're gonna get the wreck, because that gadget will be very useful for the speedrun strats. It's gonna allow us to zip, and that one's gonna be very helpful, for example, at Clock Tower when you have to leave. And speaking of Clock Tower, it's time to do some climbing. Get storage on this gargoyle. And then get on top of this. And now we're gonna have to try to get height from gliding. So in this game, if you actually glide for 3 seconds, you can actually gain a lot of height. There is a limit, but it's very helpful. You're gonna hit the wall and start a dive bomb again, then glide more, hit the higher part of the wall, dive bomb, glide, and you should be able to make it. By the way, I forgot to mention, before entering Clock Tower, you have to reload from checkpoint, because that will give you the overworld coordinates, which is the reason why you zip at some specific places. After you zip, you're gonna call the car and we're gonna go to the movie studios. There are actually some letters here that are very helpful for us. Now, for this tutorial of the new Batsuit, I was so scared of it. But I did find a way to do it grappleless. It also involves a glitch. All you have to do is to trigger his dialogue saying, Five soldiers, all armed. If I alert them, they'll kill the hostage. Then you go to the left and you'll be able to line launch from there. You leave the area, go to this point to gain height, dive bomb and glide. You wanna get to this gargoyle. Now Batman should trigger his dialogue talking about separating them. After you throw the battering and alert them, you can just look at Arkham City's tower and scan it. That should give you an auto save from the riddle. If you reload from checkpoint, they're gonna open the door and you will be able to move and take them out. Now for Ace Chemicals, that building gave me such a headache. First I was so scared of the first part, the entrance, because it's such a big wall, like how would I ever have enough height? But then it came to my mind that for speedrunning, there is a hole we use for skips that could be useful here. So you just roll onto it, dive bomb, and glide. And you should have enough height to go to this pipe. I didn't, so I just fell into the water. And he didn't even grapple, so <laughs> it works. Then my biggest fear came. The second worker. 
I tried so, but so hard to do it, and I just couldn't. I tried to load the elevator, I tried to bring the car to this area to kill the guys, I tried to find holes, I tried everything possible, I promise you. And I just couldn't. This is the only time you need to grapple in the entire run. And that's it. It's so frustrating because of one single grapple. You cannot beat Arkham Knight without grappling. It's so annoying. But whatever, I did find some really good strats for other parts that were really interesting. So if you want to keep watching, then I would recommend you to. For the second time you enter the clock tower, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna zip out, and this is also part of the skip called Penguin Skip, which skips a lot in the any percent category. To leave the Penguin Weapons Cache, you just need to line launch from there, line launch again, and you should be able to leave. Now to avoid the ambush, we're gonna do the speedrunning strat, which is to cancel this. You can glide to this, you should have enough height to glide to this. Now you're gonna do the whole Batmobile path, but without the Batmobile. Which is kinda annoying and slow, but it works. While gliding, you line launch mid-air, and you should be able to get close enough to them to do a fear takedown and take them out. Now you take the sentry guns out and trigger the dialogue, and you're fine. Now for some reason this part is so weird, and you can only call the Batmobile when you're gliding or something, I don't really know. But I did use the remote control Batmobile, and that gave me control over it again. So I just went to Batman, and I was in the car. Now what's also important, right now I am buying the ejection upgrade from the Batmobile, because it's gonna give you way more height, which could be way more helpful for a no grapples run. By the Batmobile's ejection, you should have enough height to go to the tower. Now the Wayne building was so scary because it was so high, and I was really scared of failing there. But by line launching and gliding, I was able to get on top of this, and get to the second crane. After this, I just went to Wayne building and got very close, but it wasn't enough. So the gliding mechanic here will save us. And just like Clock Tower, you're gonna hit the wall, glide again, hit the wall again, and glide again. And you should be able to make it. Now to leave Stag's airship, I was able to line launch from here, start gliding and line launch mid-air. And then I just jumped to this, and was able to climb the ladder. Now to get to the place to zip, it's basically line lounge everywhere. You keep line launching to everywhere, to every single place that is slightly higher. Now to scan this drone, unfortunately as I said at the beginning, Batman automatically grapples, but I'm not gonna count that because honestly, it's not even my fault. And to scan the drone is actually really easy, you just gotta move around and be careful to not touch it because it's an insta-killer. To get to the second militia tower, I was also able to line lounge and do some gliding to have enough height. To do Panessa skip, you can just eject from the car to get enough speed, and you should be able to make it without grappling. And to take out the big guy, by doing carrying strat from speedrunning, you can just cancel the door twice with your explosive gel, and the enemies shouldn't be able to see you. 
Now we can take him out with no problems. After that, you wait a second and roll onto this invisible wall. And you're gonna switch characters so we don't get stuck. Nylon launch, get on top of it. And you should be able to jump to get to the gargoyle and get storage again to zip later. After you zip, you should go to Charisma. But I made a big mistake because I'm very dumb. And I went to King instead, which made me soft lock. So I had to get my backup save on the menu to do it all again. For the Port Adams part, you can simply line launch and no drones will see you, which is really impressive actually. For the Arkham Knight HQ, I wasn't able to do it glitchless because there's a stupid elevator that you need to grapple to to destroy the generator. However, I also couldn't do any percent strat because that involved grappling, so I was really kind of screwed there. But my option was to do it kind of glitchless and kind of any percent. Basically, I mixed both routes. So what I did was to get storage, went to Miyagani Island, to this hole that the devs forgot to put collision on. Then I went to the tunnels, loaded it. It's very important for you to do exactly how I do it because this place is so easily deloaded that it's so dumb. That it's so dumb, like, like if you go slightly to a different side or something, it automatically deloads, which really sucks, but should be consistent if you do it this way. Now you aim and select wreck, which will put you on a storage position. But don't quick fire with the rack to zip yet. First, you have to manually fire with the rack at the generator and make sure it gets destroyed and you get an autosave. Then you quick fire with the rack and zip. What that's gonna do is to load the tunnels behind the breakable wall down there. Now you can just go back to Arkham HQ and do it glitchless. Except after destroying this wall with the Batmobile. You're gonna have to eject and do a tricky glide here. So basically what I do is dive bomb at the last moment so he doesn't hit the wall. Now you can just get in the car and go down there, break the wall and move on. After excavator fight ends, you're gonna do three lane launches. At the last one you get on it and you pray that Batman will jump and give you enough height for you to climb the wall. I was really surprised that doing Jason segments were possible. For the first one is actually really easy. You just climb this into a line launch, get on it, and jump. That should put you on the gargoyle and trigger the cutscene. The second one is also kinda easy. All you have to do is get on top of this railing and go to the left. That's gonna put Batman in a standing position. You just line launch, get on it, and climb this thing on the right. Now you can just hit the wall and glide back going straight to the gargoyle and triggering Jason's cutscene. It's important for you to take out the guys only after you take out Jason, because if you don't, Jason will lock you in the room and try to gas you, but you are forced to grapple there, which wouldn't be nice for our category. This one is kinda tricky, you gotta wait for Jason to not look at the left, and then you line launch, get on top of it and you're gonna jump at the wall and get some height from it now you go to the right and land on this thing if the guys see you don't worry and just smoke bomb so you just hit this glide to the right and turn around going straight to jason again now for the last one it's sad news for console gamers because i could not find a way to do this on controller the strat is to glide to this other gargoyle, and when you quickfire smoke on keyboard by pressing 6 twice, Batman should stand still on the gargoyle. That will allow you to glide to the other gargoyle. Also here, weirdly, he sees me, but he doesn't do anything. Maybe it's because I shouldn't be on this gargoyle at first place. Now you wait for smoke to reload, and just throw it again until he stands still. Hit the wall, and glide to Jason. In GCPD after saving Barbara, make sure to reload so you get its coordinates. At clock tower get storage, and then zip here just like the 80% route. But since in the 80% route you grapple up, 
we're gonna do it differently. We're gonna glide and dive bomb until we have enough height to go to the surface. Then here, I tried to glide and go to the right, and he didn't climb it, but I've done it before and it did, so I don't know what happened. But yeah, he fell into the water and grappled, which again isn't against my rules, so it's fine. But also, you don't necessarily need to fall into the water for it to work, so it would be possible even without falling into the water anyway. So moving on. The line launch again, and he didn't climb it for some reason. So I just glided back and now he did. We do a lot more parkour until we have enough height. And then you glide again. And now you're gonna trigger the cutscene. So you can load the drones and load the guys inside GCPD. So you can turn on the generator. And this is it. You just eject to go to Panissa, go meet Scarecrow, do the whole Joker segment. And you're done. You completed Batman Arkham Knight by grappling once. Yeah, it sucks. I really wish you could just do without grappling, but I just couldn't find the ace thing, so that's life, I guess. But still, I had a lot of fun doing this, and I was able to find so many strats to not grapple. I was really impressed by my creativity sometimes, and I'm happy in general with the results. Unfortunately, you cannot beat it without grappling, but I'm glad I really had the idea to try this. So, thank you for watching. And goodbye.